Now we're pushing boxes at Walmart at night. If I knew I would ever be an ambassador back in the So family, friends, well wishers, distinguished invited guests, we want to thank you so very much for this evening. Thank you to the drummers. Yeah. I couldn't imagine. Yeah. I never got off my seat to come and dance. <laughs> thank you all of you for coming. And we look forward to a continual relationship with Canada, with all of you. Today, when I met with the city mayor of uh, Hamilton, I asked him the possibility for us to establish a sister-city relationship between the city of Hamilton and the city of Ikeanu. Oh, nice. That's great. We want to pursue that and to honor our members of parliament, I'll be counting on you to help me push this so that there can be a sister city relationship between Hamilton and Bikana. And you might want to ask why Bikana? Bikana because Bikana is a poor city, Hamilton is a poor city. The iron ore that is extracted from Liberia by a silver meter gets shipped to Hamilton. And I'd like to see the relationship just going beyond seeing a ship with a Liberian flag bringing the iron over here. What are other benefits that the two communities, the two countries, and the two people can enjoy? I look forward to working with you to make sure that we reach this. Once again, thank you for the warm hospitality. Thank you for this evening. Thank you for your friendship, and God bless Canada, God bless the Republic of Liberia. Thank you very much, Mr. Ambassador, for those uh, for those very inspiring words. So I have a little secret to tell some of you who don't know. In the Liberian community, when we have an event, no matter how classy, no matter how diplomatic, or how political it is, we never just get up from our seats and walk away home without dancing. It's a tradition. Any Liberian who comes to a Liberian event, they expect it. So